Yo, what's good with y'all, man? Top 20 plugins to cop in 2022. Let's get it. Try free. All right, so first, you gotta have some good reverb plugins. Probably one of the best ones I've ever found is Seventh Heaven by Liquid Sonics. It's super, super good. Personally, I like using the London Plate preset. Now that was a pay plugin, however, there are some really good free ones. Ambience is one of them. This is what a lot of producers like Frank Dukes use. And then finally, for like a creative delay and reverb plugin, we've got Room. I think that it's a German word, so I think it's pronounced Room. Might be saying it wrong, I'm not sure. Uh, the Germans can help me out here. They've got a bunch of really nice presets. I like using the Ghostly Resonance preset, especially. Very, very nice. All right, so moving on to vintage plugins. These are really important if you like making lo-fi or trap. Now the first and most popular is of course RC20. It is very, very good. The presets that they have are also very, very nice. And then of course you have Somatics Origin. Somatics Origin, honestly, it's probably a little bit better than RC20 in some cases, like for certain lo-fi tracks, it just has this different feel. One hundred percent recommend this one. And then another plugin that I like to use for vintage or just overall effects is called Magic Dice. It is free, and I honestly can't believe it's free. I mean, blowing my mind away. Click this right here. It'll give you some kind of random effect. And all of the MIDI that you're hearing in this video is from Pride by Jack's Blueprint MIDI kit. Honestly, I'm blown away at how actually nice it is. So yeah, really good kit, man. Now, everybody needs some kind of multi-effect plugin that really does a lot. First one that I recommend is Guitar Rig. Called Guitar Rig, but it's really a multi-effect plugin. You've got amps and cabinets, of course, for guitars, a bunch of other different kind of effects here. I like a lot of this stuff under character because I'm a really vintage guy, and you can just kind of turn down the mix thing right here because all these effects are gonna be really, really heavy, so you're gonna need to turn down the mix level. Next on the list here is Effect Rack by Sound Toys. Honestly, what you get for the price is really, really good. It has a bunch of modules here. I'm not sure how many is here, but it's at least half of their best selling plugins condensed into one big rack. They've got a bunch of presets here. Detune Space is nice. So the next one we have here is called Finisher Micro. It's basically just a free multi-effect plugin, a bunch of nice unique effects to add to pianos and even drums, for example, so. All right, so no matter what kind of producer you are, you need some mixing plugins. And the first one we have here is called Fresh Air by Slate Digital. So what this does is it adds like a little bit more high end to everything and just kind of gives it some air.
and then on this piano here. All right, so the next one we have here is called MOTT or MOTT. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's also a Slate Digital plugin. Pretty much it's like OTT except better. It's like a parallel compressor type thing. It works really well on drums too. Cause I like to have a light compression on the master, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, super nice. 10 out of 10, man. Try free. Daniel. All right, so now we have a plugin called Metatune. It's a pitch correction plugin. Unless I'm trying to use fake vibrato, I pretty much always use Metatune instead of Autotune just cause I think it sounds really good. Plus the GUI is so, so cool. So here's just some old, like completely dry vocals I had. And this is without tuning. I feel like drawing, I'm in a different dimension, no Rick and Morty. And then this is with tuning. I feel like drawing, I'm in a different dimension, no Rick and Morty. So on my master, what I've been using lately on my samples and just loops, you know, stuff like that, I use a virtual tape machine. So like I'll throw this on anything I want to sound like warmer. So with this piano, all I have to do is just open it up and just automatically it sounds so much better. So it's a really subtle difference, but to me, it's something I'm just throwing anyway, just to have there. Just like if you have some low elements in there too, it really sounds just amazing. So the next one we got here is Somatic's Diablo Lite. It is a free plugin. So if you're an Ableton user, a Logic user, or you use something other than FL and you want like a saw clipper, this is pretty much the equivalent to a free saw clipper. And it sounds really good. So this is without. And this is with. All right, so then of course you need like a really nice EQ. Fab filter is really good, but I actually prefer the Infinity EQ by Slate Digital. It sounds really good. Statistics show that this is easily one of the best and most accurate EQs that you can possibly get. So yeah, either this one or Fab Filter. I actually use this over Fab Filter just because I like the interface a lot more. And then of course, you're gonna need a compressor. The one I use the most is Waves Arvox. Pretty much use this on everything, not just vocals, because it's easy. This is perfect because I don't have to spend so much time tweaking stuff. So yeah, another 10 out of 10, man. All right, so the next one we have here is Wider by Infected Mushroom to widen stuff. So if you want some kind of creative plugins to use for just manipulating things, our first one here is Effectrix. It's definitely a must have. It's just like an effect sequencer plugin. So you can add it on stuff and make it stutter and all that kind of stuff. So you can create really cool grooves with it and stuff like that. You know, you could throw it on a piano and just drag this across right here, turn the mix level down. So the next one we have is like a free version of Effectrix. Deep Blue Glitch, it works exactly the same way as Effectrix. I can do the same reverse hi-hat thing, spam a bunch of different stuff, you know what I'm saying? That didn't sound very good, but you know what I mean? The reverse is really nice, so I can turn the overall mix down to like half of that. So yeah, this is good if you don't have the money for Effectrix, it works just as well. 
So the next one we have here is Shaper Box. I like this a lot because it has like a bunch of different effects that you can add to really just kind of automate things with. For example, let's just add a pan and a filter. So with the filter, let's go ahead and just give it like this right here. Let's go ahead and just use this shape right here and then turn the mix down to maybe 50%. And then use a pan right here to pan it left and right. You can create all kinds of cool shapes with it. Your missed sound probably isn't doing it justice, but I use it a lot as far as like filtering vocals and all that. So one of the final ones here is Halftime by Cable Guys. Halftime is a classic, man. I put this in here because it's, I feel like everybody needs to have this, you know what I mean? Just putting it on instantly, you already get something completely different. So you can just set it on one bar right here and then turn the mix down to about 50% just to make it sound more full. And it already gives it like a low double to make it fill the mix more. Super, super useful plugin. So number 19 on this list is Little Altar Boy, man. This one is super nice for creating like some really unique vocals. So what I can often do is add like a low double, for example. Yeah, yeah. I could push the pitch up and then pull the format down a little bit to create like this really cool Frank Stukes like unique vocal tone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then with reverb, it sounds really awesome. The final one we have here is just an honorable mention and it is Magic Switch. Yeah, it's just like a flanger effect. And this is free too, so it's like, why not go and add this to your collection? All right, so that is all of the must-have plugins in 2022. So if you got something from this video, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, till next time.